Bhayan, you seem so excited about going back to your native country. Is it because you are happy to see your brother? Your friend who was waiting for her flight with you in the airport asked. Not really, I am waiting to see his bodyguard, he replied looking at the picture of your brother's bodyguard which was on your mobile screen. What? Bodyguard? I can't believe this. What's so special in him that you are excited about? Don't tell me you fell in love with him. She said the last line, seeing your cheeks which were already blushing already since you started seeing his picture. Yes, I'm loving him. It's been four years since I saw him. I don't know why I fell in love with him. Maybe as someone says, love has no reason to fall in love. Mine is also the same. I don't know the reason, but I love him more than anything. You said kissing the picture of your brother's bodyguard. Wow, great. Can I see your man? No, no, I will show everyone at my wedding. Okay, Nancy, I have to leave. My flight is ready. Bye. Call me when you reach your home. You both hugged each other and bid a bye before you leave for your flight. Jungkook, I'm coming. I will tell you about my love and will live this life for you and with you. You exhale a deep breath and got into your flight. You went to United States for your medicine. As you finished your education, you are coming back to South Korea to start your doctor practice as you wanted to build a hospital in your home country. After a long journey, you landed on your country and was waiting for the person whom you wanted to meet at the outside of airport. Finally, I landed. But where is Jungkook? Opa told Jungkook would be here on time. You take off your glasses and took your phone to dial. But before that, you heard the voice of your love. Mom? Wow, he came. You smiled and turned back just to see that person. I'm sorry, I'm stuck with some work, that's why I came late. He apologized while you were looking at him happily. It's okay, why did Oppa not come to pick me? You asked him acting like you missed your brother, of course you missed, but not as much as Jungkook. Actually, he went on some urgent mission. He will come only tomorrow morning. That's why I'm here to pick you. He replied, the whole time you never saw talking normally. His face has only cold expressions which bothered you. It's great news. I can spend a long time with Jungkook. You thought to yourself and smiled inside as you were happy about it. Shall we go? It's not good for you to be outside. Please get into the car first. He kept the luggage inside the car and sat in the driver's seat as well as you also sat in the front seat. He was driving the car while you were admiring him by seeing him through the corner of your eyes. The ride was going silent. How are you? Is everything going well? By the way, you are looking so handsome than in video calls. You said directly without even feeling shy as acts bold sometimes. And you saw him in video calls. Whenever you call your brother, he attends it and give that mobile to your brother. Hmm, thank you ma'am. He replied coldly without even sparing a glance at you. Why are you being cold? Can't you say it with a smile? I wanted to see you smiling. Two months before going to United States, till now you are the same person, no change. 
Yes, he joined as your bodyguard just before two months you moved to abroad. This is my personality, I cannot change. He again replied coldly, making you glare at him as he was not understanding your feelings. Again, right became silent. All of a sudden, Jungkook screamed and bent your head down. Mom, head down. Then a penetrated through the front window of the car into your seat as the rivals aimed at your point block. Ah! You don't move. You sit down. I will handle them. Who are they, Jungkook? Why are they coming after me? Enemies of your brother, you don't worry, I will take you home safely. He took out his and started shooting them. You both reached home safely after being chased by enemies. Jungkook fight with them to save you. Thank you for saving me, Jungkook. Please don't say that. It's my duty to protect you. Now go and take some rest. He was about to leave you, but you saw his hand was bleeding. Jungkook, your hand is bleeding. Come, let's go to the hospital. No, it's okay. I can manage it. He was about to leave, but you grabbed his wrist and took him to the room where the first aid kit was available. As he knows you were stubborn, he didn't talk back. You brought him to the bedroom and told him to remove his shirt to dress the wound. No, I can't remove my shirt. Please leave. I will dress it. I said listen to me, how can you manage? Wound is on your right hand, how can you manage with your left hand? Just remove it. You grab the shirt on his chest to unbutton but he quickly hung your hand and turned back. I don't want to remove it. Cut the sleeve of my hand and do as I will go to the hospital. Okay, okay. Why do you feel like you saved some diamonds on your chest? I will dress it as you say. You both sat on the bed and was dressing his wound, looking at him who was looking at somewhere seriously as if he doesn't want to look at you. Feeling pain? He nodded as no. Okay, I'm giving injection. It will be drowsy. Have a sleep, okay? After you finished, he slowly drifted to sleep because of the medicine you gave. Then you covered him in blanket. Jungkook, I don't know why you are behaving as if you don't have feelings for me. But deep down, I know you are feeling the same about me as I'm feeling about you. You ruffled his hair gently and slept on the couch in the same room as you thought. He might need anything in the midnight. After all, he saved your life, putting his life in danger. Next day morning, you opened your eyes after hearing the voice which you missed in these years. Oppa? Hello, my dear princess. Welcome back to our country. You quickly got up and hugged him while he also hugged back. Oppa, how are you? I miss you. I miss you too, Vyan. Are you okay? Jungkook told me everything. You should be careful. Don't go anywhere without saying to me, okay? Okay, Oppa. Where is Jungkook? His hand got hurt. You searched for him in the room, but he didn't show up anywhere. He went to the office. Don't worry, he told me he's fine. Come, let's go. We have many things to talk. Wait, wait. Jungkook went to the office, but he is your bodyguard, right? Yeah, but it's only a half story. You don't know one thing before being a bodyguard that he's my friend. One day his father passed away and his companies were in loss. Then I helped him with that he again became successful in his business world. 
So when the enemies tried to then he saved me from them since he started being my bodyguard to repay me. Just for help he is protecting me since many years. Even now he protected you. So great. That's why I love him, Oppa. What? Did you say anything? You said nothing and left from that room. Some days passed. One fine morning, you came to the dining table where your brother and Jungkook having their breakfast. Good morning, Oppa. Good morning, Yen. Are you going somewhere? You dressed up pretty. Yeah, Oppa. I wanted to go to the amusement park. You sat beside Jungkook who was eating without greeting you. Good morning, Jungkook, but he didn't reply back and eating his breakfast continuously. I told you to not go alone. Then why did you plan this? Whom you asked? I'm going with Jungkook. I asked him. He said he would protect me like last time. What do you say, Jungkook? At once he choked. <coughs> Then you gave him water. Jungkook, is it true? Then why didn't you tell me earlier? You leaned close to Jungkook and whispered. Please say yes, Jungkook. Please save me from my brother. Please, please. Seeing your requesting face, he said as to your brother. Yeah, she wanted to go there. That's why I told her I will accompany her so that I can protect her. He liked your brother just for you. But you said you have an important meeting in the office. Then how can you go with her? Jungkook looked here and there to answer him. Then he sighed and replied. Meeting is about an hour. Later I can take her. Is that okay for you, ma'am? He asked, not even looking at you with a cold expression on his face. Yeah, yeah, I have no problem. I will wait in the reception. Meanwhile, you finish your project. Okay, fine. You have breakfast, Wayne. Jungkook, I'm leaving. I have to collect the material. As Jungkook nodded, your brother left the house, then you exhaled deep breath out of relief. Thank God, else today I would have finished for lying. Thanks for saving me, Jungkook. Are you mad? What if I say no? Don't you think before doing anything, you made me lie to him? I didn't expect this kind of behavior from you. Don't be over smart and next time don't repeat this. I don't like lying to him. I will be waiting in the car. He shouted at you, making you broke into tears without even considering looking at your dull face. How can he shout at me like this, idiot? You cursed him under the troth and left the house to go with him. You sat in the car and seriously playing games in the mobile phone without even looking at Jungkook. He was also driving the car without saying anything. After going for few meters, he spoke. I'm sorry, I would not have shouted at you. Only sorry is not enough. He replied seriously. What do you want then? How do you want me to say sorry? He also asked in a serious tone. Whole day, you should listen to whatever I say, then only I will accept, else I will tell the truth to my brother, he would know you lied to him. You are such a na. Do you want me to say my brother? If yes, then finish the word, else I agree with me. Choice is yours, mister. You said looking at his angry face, poking your cheeks as you hit on his weak point. Fine, I will listen. Don't say to your brother. That's it. Now you are on my track. First thing you should do is smile. Just smile once. I haven't seen it. With your words and actions, a small smile formed on his face. This is the first time you saw him smiling. 
Wow, your smile is so pretty. Why don't you smile like this every day? Just keep smiling, Jungkook. The whole ride was full of fun. You played with Jungkook while he felt awkward. Later, you came to the amusement park. After finishing his meeting, there you spent a lot of time and went almost all rides. You saw the new Jungkook for the first time. He was so happy with you. Jungkook, let's go to the giant well. It would be so fun. Come, come. Aren't you afraid of heights? Me? No way. I love adventures. Come fast. You dragged him by his wrist while he was following you like a small kid with a pure smile on his face. You both get into one of the sightseeing cabins and was enjoying the ride. You both were talking some random things. You saw a friendly person in Jungkook who was being so friendly with you. He didn't even forget that he was a cold bodyguard. As ride ended, giant wheels started moving slowly as new people entered inside the cabin. Then you went on your knees and took out the diamond ring from your sling bag while he was looking at you surprised along with the people around cabins. Vyan, what are you doing? What is this? Jungkook, I want to confess something to you. What? Confession? No, no. He was shocked to hear you. Jungkook, I love you. You said screaming where people around you can hear. As the people around you heard, they were telling Jungkook to accept you with their claps. You were looking at him as you were waiting to hear S from his mouth, but his answer stunned you, which was unexpected. I'm sorry, Vyan. I'm already loving someone. I can't accept you now. What? You are lying, right? Please say it's a lie. Please say it's a lie, Jungkook. Tears started streaming. I'm sorry. I'm saying the truth. She is the girl with whom I'm in love. He showed the picture to you. At once, your dreams, your heart was completely broken. You are not ready to accept what he said. The man whom you loved wholeheartedly, saying that he was loving someone else, who could take this, who could have strength to accept, the man with whom you dreamt about your life, now is belonging to someone else. 